Hey everybody, I just got my uh, Mickeys back from PSA. Uh, it's a pretty simple um, process. I have never sent anything into like a grading company before because usually I just like playing. So I don't want my cards stuck in like a plastic thing because you can't play with it. But since these um, are promos, they're going to get reprinted in the first set. I thought um, like it'd probably be worth grading them i think they're going to be very collectible depending on um what kind of rarity these get will really impact uh their value i think if these are like commons uh when if the mickeys are commons when they come out um then you know it, they won't be as valuable essentially uh a little bit about sending to psa um I took high res photos ahead of time when my friends said like do that if they get a card and they bend it or have damage to it you need to have proof that the card was in the condition before you sent it. So I took a bunch of like uh, photos you can see on this one um, and I've seen this like on eBay on some of them there's like this kind of speckling I'm not sure what happened if the ink didn't apply well or there's just some like it looks like damage basically. So on this one. Um, I figured I wasn't going to get a 10. I know some people, even me, speculate that they're a little easier on grading, but this got an 8, um, this one with the damage. So if you are looking at close-up photos on eBay and you see, like, I've seen this exact kind of damage on multiple cards. Um, even I know someone who bought one, had the damage, they, like, returned it right away. So um, you're going to get around an 8 probably, maybe a little higher depending. Um, the other one I took close-up photos of, uh, I thought it was like pretty perfect condition. It ended up getting a 10, which I was pretty happy with. Having at least one 10 is cool. Um, I think like between 9 and a 10, the value might be similar. Unless it's like skyrockets like crazy, then um, the value could go up. Um, like I said, it was my first time sending to PSA. Um, I'm really happy with it. It was a little scary because you um like kind of fill out your order and then they give you instructions and you need to package the order a certain way and then you uh, just ship it to their address and once they receive it it's really nice it'll say it arrived um it'll say it's you know prepping they kind of go through all of this so you don't have to worry too much about um your card i was a little worried they'd just like send it back and i wouldn't know when it was coming but everything is like really like up to date you'll get emails or texts on like when everything's happening so when it shipped i knew exactly when it was going to ship i knew exactly when to go grab it and they wrapped it so securely there was like cardboard bubble wrap huge box like it's super safe they take it really seriously i'm i'm happy i'll probably grade some more stuff especially it seems like psa is going to be the place to go for uh, lorcana stuff so if you're Debating on it or a little nervous. Um, I mean, it's really simple. They it's it's secure when you ship it. Make sure you have insurance on what you're sending them in case it does get lost or something like that. Um, you need to have insurance because from you to them is all 100 percent up to you. You need to like label everything properly, package it properly, take high res photos ahead of time. Make sure that if they somehow damage the card when it's in their possession, um, you can kind of have proof and while they're grading it from what I understand they have like a video or something of them doing the grading process so if they do like um, make a mistake or damage it they'll send you the photos of of them grading it and with your proof you can kind of protect it so you really don't have to be worried at all it's very painless process the only thing I was nervous about was just kind of sending it off it, like the address isn't like PSA, like First Street or something like that. It's kind of like a random address. So, you know, it seems a little weird at first, but as soon as you get your stuff back, um, it's really cool. I'm happy I got it graded. I might get some other Orkana stuff graded. I still look on eBay quite a bit to see if there's any deals. Every time I'm like messing around with Orkana, my um, oldest... Uh, daughter who's like a Disney fan she always says like oh why do they have an Elsa uh, so I really am going to get an Elsa at some point I know that people 
uh, like I don't think the card's that good, but if like all the the fans are really behind it, it, it could be you know cool to have the promo. She really doesn't need the promo. It's probably actually it's more for me, but I want to get one, uh, have it graded, and let her just like play with it. I have a bad habit of letting the kids just like play with valuable stuff sometimes, and it always gets broken. But I don't think these like PSA cards can be broken so easily. I don't know. If it's a 10, maybe I won't. Uh, right now, the prices are super reasonable. If you if you just like pay attention, you don't mind, you know, parting with like a thousand bucks. You can probably get almost any card you want right now. Maybe not like a PSA 10, but um, you can get anything. Uh, for me, one of the exciting things about the set is I've never been like early enough on a game that I could have every card. Like for a lot of us, that's probably the case because when you're younger, like, you didn't know you wanted every Pokemon card or something like that. But this, um, you know, it'd be nice to have all the cards, all the promos. Like, it's possible right now you can get stuff on eBay. Once the game comes out, it might get harder. The price, we saw it spike for a while. Um, it could, you know, spike again. I think my theory I keep telling everyone is uh, prior to the holidays, uh, people want to sell. Like, if you have a PSA 8 Mickey, you might want to sell it to buy you know, holiday gifts, you might need to go traveling or you're going to take work off. So like people need money. It's a really good time to buy because people just need to sell stuff. So keep an eye out if you're interested in Lorcana D3 promos from now until like January, I think is the best time to buy because once the game comes out, these are going to be really sought after. Um, I saw one video, people were talking about how most like Gamers, like if you're playing Flesh and Blood, Magic, other games, you don't even know this game's coming out yet. So it's kind of under the radar for a lot of people. I'm rambling a lot, but yeah, get your cards graded. PSA is cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I think the grades were fair. I One was definitely not a 10. It didn't get a 10. One I was pretty sure was a 10. It got a 10, so um, I'm happy with that. So we'll bug you guys later. If you get stuff graded, let me know.